Hi, my name is Dean Chang, and I'm the Associate Vice President of the Academy for Innovation and Entrepreneurship here at the University of Maryland. Welcome to a special edition of Turvision. In recognition of our third annual 30 Days of Entrepreneurship, we're at Startup Shell. It's a technology incubator for students, by students, that cultivates innovation and entrepreneurship on campus. 30 Days of Entrepreneurship is a month-long celebration of innovation across all 12 schools and colleges, featuring special events, lectures, and student competitions. And Turf Vision will be covering it all. Robots of all shapes and sizes invaded the University of Maryland recently. No, it wasn't the latest Steven Spielberg movie. It was the Chesapeake Regional First Robotics Competition, an event pitting over 50 teams against one another in a battle for robotic supremacy. The University of Maryland is widely known as a top producer of amazingly talented graduates in what are known as STEM fields, science, technology, engineering, and math. However, UMD's extensive work encouraging students to enter these highly rewarding and critically important fields begins long before college. Through a host of outreach, partnership, and volunteer efforts, UMD engages elementary, middle, and high school students in fun science and technology projects and competitions. The latest such effort is the university's hosting of the 2014 Chesapeake Regional First Robotics Competition, held in the Comcast Center on April 3rd through 5th. It's the first time part of this acclaimed International High School Robotics Competition has been held on campus. FIRST is an acronym. It stands for For Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Our mission is to inspire K-12 students' interest in science and technology. And we do that through robotics programs. We try to give an active, hands-on project for the kids to work on and come to a competitive, sports-like environment and take it all the way up through an international competition. The University of Maryland is the top place to come in Maryland, and so we wanted to try to partner up with them. In addition to hosting the event, university students and faculty, many of whom are alumni of FIRST competitions, provided extensive volunteer support including mentoring teams and serving in many other roles, such as robot inspectors and competition judges. Being a mentor, teaching them technical skills is uh, only 40% of it. 60% of it is teaching them how fun it is. It's pretty amazing to see a robot kind of come to life from, from just a box of metal, a box of you know nuts and bolts and little pieces of wire, and in six weeks it becomes you know, the robots that you see out on the field now. A lot of the UMD volunteers come out of the College Park Scholar Science, Technology, and Society program, which has a robotics outreach program in schools in Prince George's County. We have so many students that have come up through their first teams, and even though they're not in their high schools anymore, they're constantly working with their former first robotics teams. Uh, in addition to that, they want to get involved with FIRST teams that are in this area. Such dedication by FIRST Robotics alums is not surprising, for it's clear they volunteer because they love it and because they know from their own experiences how transformative it can be. This is a competition, but it's more so a celebration, celebrating how much they love robotics, how much they love seeing robots in action. They're excited about robots, not about celebrities, not about basketball or football players, but robots built by kids, just showing how good their ingenuity is. It's amazing. You see all these like really, really, really smart people doing really cool things, and when you're in middle school and high school, you don't realize that, hey, that smart person was just like me. So I think that these types of programs are really great in just showing them that you can be that genius. 